All right, in this lesson, we're going to do two quick things. One is that we're going to create our very first brush, our first box. Uh, and then the other thing we're going to do is talk really quick about uh, movement in the two different environments, the 2D environment and the 3D environment. Uh, there's two ways to create your very first brush. Uh, one is you can hit Control B, which will activate the brush tool. Or else you can, on the toolbar here on the left, you can just pick the block tool. So just by clicking the block tool, you've now selected it and you're good to go. You can choose any one of the environments. You can choose the top view, this XY, or either one of the side views. It really doesn't matter, but you're just going to place a box in. So let's just go ahead and put one in. So I just click, drag, release, hit enter, and boom, check that out. You got a box. Couldn't be simpler, couldn't be easier. Now let's talk about a couple quick things about how to move around in this environment. Uh, you have two different views here. You have a two-dimensional view, which gives us our top and our two sides, and we have a 3D view, which is also called the camera window. Let's first talk about moving around in the 2D environment. There's two ways to move in the 2D environment. One is, and you just saw me do it a little bit ago, is to use the scrolls. and So that'll scroll the box into view. So you can go up and down. But that tends to be a little bit cumbersome. Another thing you can do is click your, your block or your brush, and you've made it active, and now you can just use the arrow keys in that particular view. You notice the other two views, the top view and the other side view, do not move. Moving around in the three-dimensional environment is just a, is slightly more complex, but not, uh, not too much so. There's essentially four things you need to know. The first thing you need to know is that by simply making the window active, the camera window, you can use your arrow keys. This kind of functions like your head. You can look up and down, you can look right and left, but you're in a very static position. You're not moving about. If you want to actually move the camera, you hit shift, and it gives you that kind of dolly effect. You see how it functions over the thing? So now you're moving. The third way to use this is you can use the W, A, S, D keys. The W key functions to zoom you in, and the, a function, or the S functions to bring you out. And left, to pan left, you hit the A key, and to pan right, you hit the D key. The one final movement is the scroll wheel on your mouse. By clicking your block, you can now use the scroll wheel to zoom in and to zoom out. Now you need, now you know everything you need to know about creating your very first block, which is a combination of six brushes, and how to move through those two environments, the 2D environment and the 3D environment. Thank you.